Hey, it's Vas here from Aussie RC Playground, and today we're going to be speed testing the HBX T6 1/6 scale two-wheel drive brushless buggy. Now this car is dead stock. I'm going to be testing it out on 4S first, and then throw a 6S in there and see what we get. Here we go. Now, as you can see, I've got different tires on the rear, only because I don't want to burn the stock tires before I take it out on the dirt. So I put my Creighton tires on there, my V1 Creighton tires. Okay, here we go now, are we ready? Yeah. 71? Are you serious? This is on 4S. Holy crap. This thing goes. I just noticed as well that my camber needs to be adjusted in the rear. Check behind me, Noah. Make sure there's no one coming. No one. No one coming. Here we go. Second pass on 4S. Whoa, easy now. And for the record, these Creighton tires are the same diameter as the stockies. Um, I checked them. They're, they're pretty much the same diameter. So it shouldn't be affecting speed much. 75 with a slightly longer run up. Wow. Wow. This thing is a quick. I'm going at it a little bit further this time. See if I can get a smoother run up. Clear behind me? Um, yeah. Here we go. Nice and smooth. That's why we need uh, to put different tires on the rear because I only have the rear tires braking being a two-wheel drive buggy. 79! Holy crap! What does our GPS say? We got 80 on the GPS. So, hang on, I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in a little bit. There you go, you can see that pretty well. That's 80 kilometers an hour. This thing moves like a lot so 6s is going to be scary let's find out what happens all right 6s let's find out what happens i hope nothing bad happens because i'm really liking this car i had a little bit of a drive while with the 4s before i swapped batteries and i really like the way it handles so hopefully nothing bad happens here we go now first pass 6S. Oh boy. That is out of control. And there's a car. Luckily, I was on the opposite side of the road. Nice of him to slow down. That was, uh... What? I didn't even go full throttle. 98. So it hit 60 miles an hour and I wasn't even at full throttle. I definitely need to adjust the camber. Um, I think they, that might help in stabilizing it because it's really struggling to stay in a straight line. Noah, can you check behind me and make sure there's no one coming? No one. No one coming, all right. Let's turn this bad boy around. Let's give it another shot. Second pass, 6S. Easing the power on. Oh, wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. Couldn't hold it, couldn't hold it. Maybe those Creighton tires are a bit off balance as well. That's probably not helping. 99. I'm not going full throttle yet. I'm curious to see what the GPS says. No, you can't drive this 6S off-road. Not a two-wheel drive like this. Why would you use 6S in this? It does 80 on 4S. It's more than enough. All right, let's try it one last time. Nah, I can't hold it. Cannot hold it. 86. 86, yeah, I couldn't even get anywhere near full throttle then. Um, so, okay, while well, it's obviously capable over 100 kilometers an hour, let's see what our GPS says. Uh, I'm curious if that actually, yep, 99 kilometers an hour. Not a lie. So, uh, should I go one more time and see if I can actually hit triple figures? Should we try it, Noah? What yeah. do you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> all right what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a quick adjustment on my camber to see if i can uh, 
get these to sort of settle in a little bit better uh, because they're kind of they're pointing out I want them pointing in a bit so I'm gonna do a slight adjustment and we'll come back I'll do a couple more passes and see if we can actually uh, have triple figures showing up on the GPS so um, just wait one second all right let's give this another shot I've adjusted my camber it's a little bit better than before I don't know if it's gonna make a huge difference but I'm going to try and see if we can hit triple figures Noah clear behind me yeah. here we go Easing the power on. Oh boy. It's not really, not really happening. I got a car, so I might just stop. You're joking. Hang on, tilt it back. There it is. 100. Can I get the camera to focus in on that? There it is, 100 kilometers an hour. Hopefully the GPS says the same thing. There's no one behind me, no. Let's bring this guy around. Noah, let's do it again. One more time. Let me just see what our GPS says. Does it say 100? <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it does. It says 101. So, <laughs> wow. I, I'm a little bit um, surprised with this. I was not expecting this speed from this car. I'm going to turn down the gyro because I think it's playing a bit of happy, havoc. I'm actually turning down the rates. It's playing a bit of havoc on my uh, on my steering. So let's try it one more time, Noah. See if we can do any better. Maybe we can get 105. I still haven't managed to keep the, the throttle down. Oh, car. Brake, brake, brake. Oh, okay, he's turning in there, so... Clear behind me, Noah? Yeah. Alright, one more time. Let's see if I can turn this thing around. I've turned my dual rates right down. Here we go. Okay. Easing my power on. Oh, boy. Nah, it's just way too hot. You know, I, I should have lowered it. I should have... If I knew it was going to be this fast, I should have used the droop screws and really lowered this thing. But unfortunately, I didn't. I thought it, I didn't think it was going to be this fast. We only got 87. All right, one last time, Noah. One last time. I promise. I promise. This is the last one. Going way, way out. Turning it around. Here we go. Easing power on. Whoa. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hopefully the GPS picked up some better speed than the radar gun did. Yeah, this is swaying too hard. If I lowered it, I'm sure I could get better speed. I may need to revisit this. 97. So let's see if the GPS did any better because I kept it. I kept trying to squeeze the throttle a bit more after I passed the radar gun. No, we've only got 101. Um, that is what our GPS has got there so um, I think this is capable of much more it could probably get 105 maybe 110 on 6s uh, bear in mind this is stock out of the box I've only just changed tires because I didn't want to burn the stock tires before I take it off-road this thing has completely taken me by surprise I am totally blown away by the speed and just the drivability of this car so far is is really quite outstanding so uh, I, I don't know what to say uh, other than that is it from me hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to check out the video description for more information on the car I'll also list in there the batteries that I was using uh, and there'll be a link in there to my Facebook page which of course will keep you a few steps ahead of what goes on here on YouTube that's it from me thank you for watching and I'll speak to you next time all right I'm here to give this another go I've only got my GPS in there. I don't have my son with me with the radar gun at this stage. So we're just going to be checking to see what the GPS will say. I'm running the phase on wheels and tires. Hopefully I can get some good grip and uh, get some uh, good speed. Let's see if I can really squeeze out full throttle here. I'm running my nanotech batteries in there. Okay, hopefully we can turn this around. Let's do a couple of passes. 
Oh boy. Uh, I can hold it, but I need to really um, ease the power on. Because it does hold. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Had to really be careful there. One more time. This uh, gyro really helps with the braking. Works very well. All right. Let's see what we got. Hopefully, I got better than 101. No, nope, still only 101. Come on. Still only 101. Is that its best? Did I peak it? when I did my original speed test a few days ago. Let's try it one more time. Braking with the two-wheel drive is not fun. That was a good clean pass. Did it go past 101 though? That is the question. Yes, it did. He got 114. That is brilliant. I'm hoping that you can see that. Uh, let me see. If I can get the camera to show. You know what? I may just take this off. And there we have it. 114 kilometers an hour. Top speed on this guy. Fresh out of the box. And uh, on 6S. Running some decent tyres back there. That's it from me. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.